Hello and welcome. Today we're playing Curse of the Damn Gods. It's a new roguelike game on the PlayStation Store. Um, I just saw it and I thought that looks pretty good. Let's give it a try. Um, I've run the tutorial just to once over just to get an idea of the buttons. Um, it looks like it's uh, it might have some Slay the Spire kind of features in it. But we'll have a look, let's see. Oh damn. It's got a kind of uh, Mayan temple kind of vibes, right? We're just gonna we're gonna do the tutorial here. Basically, it says the light shows secret kind of hidden traps. Uh, these little diamonds down by my feet are my stamina, so when they run out, I can't dive or dodge, or duck or dip. Use attack ac actions to equip and attack with your weapons. Chaining multiple attacks will to trigger a powerful finisher. Use secondary attacks to shoot with your ranged weapon. Finishers and ranged weapons require one stamina point. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. We love it. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Got to look out for those, uh... Got to get those dodges on. Shouldn't be taking those hit. <coughs> so far, not very good. Chain main attacks until you get trigger a finisher. Ooh, there we go. Finisher complete. Advanced combat. Hold a main attack for a while, then release the trigger to charged attack. Requires one standpoint. Hold secondary attack for a while, then release at the perfect time to trigger a more damaging perfect shot. Chain a secondary attack after a series of main attacks to trigger a unique offhand combo. Okay, let's see what we can do. Okay, so we need to. There we go, main attack done. Oh, gotta get our stam up. Perfect shot. So now we gotta go boom, boom, boom. Damn, I really need to be careful about these uh, these attacks. I need to do another perfect shot. Okay, there we go. Boom, <coughs> and we got the dodging. Okay, we're getting a bit better. Uh, parry. Oh, I'm not very good at parries. Dodge through an enemy attack for a perfect dodge. Okay. Oh. Not quite. Nope, not good enough. Come on, buddy. That's not good enough. How is that not... How is that not good enough? Jeez, come on game. If I can't do this, is this... 
it doesn't bode well for the rest of the game, right? I mean, look, dodge through an enemy attack to trigger the perfect dodge. I mean, I just... We'll try the parry. There we go, we got one parry off. That's a start. There we go, that's the second one. I didn't think that'd be the easier one. What? I don't understand. Come on. Too late. There we go. Quickly burn him. Yeah, and we dodged. Continue to the end of the room to start your journey through the temple. If you want more practice time, use interaction on the central mark of the room to call for more training enemies. No, I think we're going to just get onto it. Let's get our torch out. Ooh, a chest. Crystal skulls are powerful artifacts that you can collect from fallen enemies. Crystal skulls are bound to your character and persist even after death. Okay, I guess the game's got the permadeath uh, thing like most roguelikes. Uh, between each exploration, you can trade crystal skulls in the underworld in exchange for permanent upgrades. Okay, so the more you play, the easier it gets. <clears throat> Jade rings are gifts from the dead gods who those who've overcome the trials of the temple. Jade rings are bound to your character and persist even after death. Okay. Uh, wait, is this the same thing? Okay, it's just another currency. Skulls and gems. I don't know why it, it couldn't have just put that in one. One tab. Uh, okay, so this is a bit like Slay the Spire. You choose your route. Um, relic, gold. Should we go for some relic? Let's have a look. I'm not sure what relics do, but in uh, Slay the Spire, they were pretty, pretty, pretty OP. Corruption. Watch out for your corruption gauge at the bottom right hand of your screen. Each door you go through increases your corruption. For each full gauge, you become corrupted, and crossing the next door will curse you. Okay. Look at that. Little, little money pot there. Okay, we need to get this lit. Oh, I'm so out of I'm so out of uh, stam. Oh, that was tight. Greed kills. After defeating an enemy, the greed kill timer starts. Chaining kills increases your greed skill counter, and the amount of gold released by enemies. Okay, pretty cool. Hitting enemies, perfect dodges and parries refill the timer. Okay, greed kill a series reset if the timer drops off your or your take damage. Okay, so if I get hit or like that. Or uh, this must be the artifact. 15% damage to lightning attacks. Okay, cool. Uh, inventory. Use the inventory action, action to consult your current gear. You also have access to the codex and system options through the interface. Okay. Uh, let's have a little look around. Make sure we're not missing anything. Like all this gold. Um. All right, we took a bit of a beating in there. We took a bit of a beating there. Jump, jump! Oh, okay, I gotta really work on my my stamina management and my dodging abilities. Yeah. 
Yeah, baby. Woo. We're getting there. There we go. Let's light it up. What we got here? Little crystal skull. Very nice. Okay, I wonder... I wonder, is there like a map? No. Because I definitely took a, a route there. What's this? Offerings. When you interact with a weapon, relic, or attributes altar, you can make an offering to the gods to claim one of the three presented boons. Make a gold offering to spend gold for it. Make a blood offering to get it for free. At the cost of some corruption. Okay, so what do we have here? Jaguar Claw. Golden Mask. Ancient Sensor. Uh, gold Offering removes 15... Uh, 4. Constitution. I don't understand what any of this is, so... Let's go for... Uh, golden Mask. And let's offer some blood up. Uh, um, sweet. Uh, so, sad. Here we go. Gain 100% of damage taken in gold. Uh, this golden mask of the gods of wonder grants wealth to the warriors rallied to their cause. Hmm, okay. <coughs> I don't know if that's good or bad. We'll find out. It looks like we're good to continue. Do we want gold or attributes? Um, let's go for some attributes. Creeping gloom. The greatest lesson pain teaches is that anything can be lost and given a moment. Lost at any given moment. Light hope and life itself. Taking damage triggers a wave of darkness. Oh dear. Extinguishing any fire source in a large zone. You will deal 10% damage in the light. Okay, so that's pretty bad. Um, every time I take damage, it's going to wipe out the light sources, I think. That's what it's saying there. But I do take do 10% more damage in the light. Well, dive, 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 dive. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, Jeebus. Ooh, a sky hammer. Yeah, we'll take that. Use the two-handed weapon action to equip and attack with your two-handed weapon. Two-handed weapons can also trigger charged attacks. Nice. Oh, I like this hammer. Get shot. Okay. What have we got here? Attributes. Earn the power of the dead gods and improve your attributes during the run. Each point of constitution increases your max health. Each point of dexterity increases your all-round weapon base damage. Each point of perception increases any gold income and the chance enemies drop gear. And okay, so I think we mostly need more health. 
something we're struggling with. We're not very good at the old dodging and diving. Uh, is this another one we can use? No. Let's continue. Gold or gold? Uh, gold into more gold and then some fights or... Let's go this way because I want to go to that weapon, I guess. Or weapon upgrade. That might be better. Let's head towards the weapon upgrade. I like the art style. It's uh, it's nice. I think it might be made by the same guys that made like the Darkest Dungeon. Some of the steel image seems to give that impression off. Oh, that was a bit better, wasn't it, guys? Damn, I don't think we took any damage there. here golden mask game okay another one boom baby oh I like this hammer this hammer is definitely more suited to my playstyle. What have we got in here? Gold. Another sky hammer. Uh, we may as well offer that one to the gods. Big hits. We're uh, we're doing a lot better here, managing to stave off some of the some of the hits. Um, I think we cleared this area. I think we're going to continue. Gold. Look, I see you. I see you hiding over there. Your your barrels of gold. Holy shit! Holy shit, guys! Oh, okay. Oh, damn! He's got quite—he's got some range. Wow! Ah. Oh. Jeez, it's lucky we got that extra 250 health, because I think that might have actually killed us. We were not ready for that big boy at all. What we got here? Uh, Two hundred percent grief uh, off to the gods. We're just going to take it. We're not likely to make it through this run, given our health is now low as hell. We're going to go for the weapon upgrade. Raging Temple. Uh, this dude controls the servant of the gods he's defeated. Their champions, their watchers, their hopes and their fate. All Jaguar statues now trigger fireballs. Ah, oh, jeez. That's not fun. Damn. 
dive, dodge, duck, come on. No! <laughs> well, 44%, new record. 12 minutes, not bad. Gold collected, new record. Let's see what the underworld is and these upgrades we can uh, we can do. Okay, something's being rebuilt. The underworld. The underworld is a place between life and death where the dead gods slumber. Use the interaction action near the central stele in the main hall to access the underworld. There you can offer crystal skulls and jade rings to the gods to unlock new upgrades. All underworld upgrades are persistent and will remain after death. Oh, I pressed R1. Okay. Okay, there's quite a few things here, right? Blessings of the dead god are powerful passive attributes, abilities that will help you during the subsequent explorations. Unlock blessings and equip one of the each available blessing slots. Return to the underworld after each exploration to change your current blessing. Okay. Uh, restore power to the forsaken weapons of the temple. Unlock weaponry that can be found in the temple in future explorations. Okay, so i got to find this or can I buy it? There we go, we just bought that, I guess. Uh, weapon altars. Weapon altars in the main hall offer gear before your exploration. Restore altars for more choice of starting weapons. Upgrade altars and they may offer higher quality gear. Amazing. Uh, we need to save up some more. Divine favours. Divine Favours let you refresh your gear offered in a number of relics and shrines. Unlock more Divine Favours to increase the number of times you can refresh the choices during an exploration. After each exploration, you gain all of your Divine Favours. Okay, that's cool. Let's unlock that. We'll get one of those going. Okay, we accidentally got two of those going. We did not mean to do that. That's okay. We haven't got any red ones. Uh, we could buy another... Let's buy like a gun. Just another five gun. Boom. Cool. So now I've got a, a whip. <laughs> Indiana Jones. Um, right, guys. I think that's a good time to leave it here. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you come back to see how we do with our new leveled up character next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.